What is good, YouTube? This your boy Monkey D Cypher here coming to you with the One Piece Manga Chapter 912 review. It's my first review. Feeling good right now. Got positive feedback from my last theory about Kuma and Bonnie. Go check that out. But without further ado, let's get it. So, Chapter 912 was lit. I give it a 9 out of 10. Pretty good chapter. Solid. You know, <laughs> I can't believe that Luffy literally nonchalant said that Ace is dead. That is amazing character development for Luffy. Amazing. to For Luffy to come this far, you know, from time skill to being a goofball, he still is a goofball. But the maturity to say it like, like that. We, I would never expect it. Nobody from a review would expect Luffy to say it nonchalantly like that. I mean, to just say it outbursely, oh, he's dead. Eh, ooh, Luffy, pump the brakes. Where's the dinner? Where's the lunch? You know, <laughs> but when Luffy told Toma, you know, he's dead. I feel that Luffy got over the hump. He's mature to know that Ace is not coming back. You know, Ace is my top two favorite characters. You know, I can never forgive Oda for killing not one of my top two characters. But, hey, it's the past. I'm still crying about it, just to be real with you. But, you know, things got better for Luffy over time, it seems. And uh, that's a good characterization for Luffy. Nice and good. But let's get into it. So, we got a, the full name of... Tama, teacher. His name is uh, Hitetsu. I know that he, uh, Tetsu means metal or steel in Japanese, which relates to his occupation, which is a bladesmith. And his ancestors, the uh, Ketetsu, or I think Kotetsu, clan are the ones who created the curse uh, Nida Kitetsu of the 21st Great Blades. I know Ni means two in Japanese, so that's a very important and skilled uh, curse blade. So uh, after he, uh, Tetsu, skulled Lupin for a while, he uh, reveals to us that the reason why Toma was uh, waiting on Ace was because Ace promised Toma he will uh, take her as a Nikama once he returns, only if she becomes a strong Kinochi. So, uh, so he Tetsu began to explain to Luffy that Ace saved him in his village four years ago in those Ace flashback panels, right? But there was one thing that he Tetsu said stuck with me, and that is he Tetsu said Ace let himself get captured. All right. Hear me out, guys. Open your mind for a few seconds here, okay? Do you think Ace, four years ago, already had the hacky ability to sense someone's true feelings? Just like Luffy? Because I think Ace sensed the villagers was on the verge of starvation and knew that the villagers only wanted to survive. And that's why he let himself get captured. Um, food for thought. Come what you guys think about that. So we learned just over a year ago, the village that Luffy and Toma and Hitetsu are uh, occupying was called the Amagasa, I think it is, until my main man, X Drake, my top five favorite kind of top five, top five, top five, <laughs> wrecked the whole place, defeating five top samurais in the process. Damn, that, that that's, pretty, that's pretty good, man. Uh, and it seems his, his headline status is the same as uh, Basil means maybe that they're directly under the calamities. I heard something about the uh, the name of Kaido men. Um, their status is related to some dance show from main event to lesser important uh, dancers, you know, and, and Japanese. Uh, it seems S. Drake is making a lot of noise. It's always nice to hear about the other supernovas and I love S. Drake. Uh, like you don't, bro. Fan, fanboy of X Drake. Fanboy, fanboy, heavy fanboy. So um, I can't wait to see him in his bounty officially announced. Uh, after the time skip, I'm predicting his bounty to be around lowest three ninety million to the highest five hundred million. Hopefully. <laughs> oh man, let let's talk about Luffy's new gear. Man, I wasn't expecting it at all. Even he was expecting a a copper toe armor, but a kimono. Really go to maybe he changes later on, hopefully, because to me, it, it doesn't fit Luffy uh, whatsoever. I was uh, really looking for a samurai soldier armor with the Ambu Black Ops mask, maybe. Nah, my inner Naruto was speaking out. But it seems to me when Luffy uh, recognized the name of Hitetsu's cursed blade, he could uh, feel something a, a bad, like an aura, just by his expression. 
So uh, we learned that the Shogun Orochi resides in the flower capital and everything else is a, is a wasteland. And that brings us to the second problem. If you have been uh, tuning in to uh, One Piece for a while, you would know that there's a routine that every main art lives by. Uh, so first, there is a problem that Luffy and company doesn't like. Second, there is this really bad ideological person. You know, Luffy has to beat to get everything running back smoothly and clean. So the water in Wano is uh, polluted because of Kaido's factory and then is making people sick. Second, Kaido and his company has all good food <laughs> and they have their own personal unpolluted water and it's not sharing with the, the residents that has been living there for decades. Thus, uh, turning everything other than the capital to a wasteland. And we all know Luffy is not finna uh, stand for this. We all know Kaido has really run a tyranny over Wano since he took uh, possession of it after the time skip. And... I know good well Luffy's going to give him this L. We don't know how, but we know he's going to take an L in his art. Zoro! When I first heard a woman screaming, I thought the same thing as Luffy. It has to be Sanji, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the big bad three sword bearing man himself, Zoro. Oh. Man, man, man. Zoro fanboys are literally getting on hard right now. <laughs> I really had to tune in to Zoro fanboy live reaction. I know he's really going to be excited for that. But finally, 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 we get to uh, see Zoro after two years and I think three months. Damn. Wow. It, it really doesn't seem that long, but it really has been that long. You know, the part when Luffy tells Zoro uh, not to eat the meat while he is eating the meat. It, it, it's hilarious. But remember, Luffy has a high tolerance for poison. But we ended this chapter with a cliffhanger, the tease with Basu and his subordinates versus the monster duo. I'm predicting that Luffy will open this battle with a new move, something we never seen before. We see he is about to unsheath his sword, so expect him to act like he knows what he is doing. <laughs> Basu really don't want to fight Luffy. If you ask me, he said something that hinted to the fact that he would join Luffy because he most definitely will take a L. Definitely. Don't get me wrong. I like Bowser, but he's not like no match for just Zoro. So just think what Luffy would do to him. But yeah, I think Bowser will see how strong Luffy is and understand what Law was saying to Bowser. Because I think, listen, I think Bowser already made an alliance with Law. Hence, that's why Bowser didn't report to Kaido about the incident on the beach. It's not crazy, but I think Law told Bowser beforehand how Luffy defeated Dofi, Dof his bounty, how many supplements is backing him. and Take a gamble with Luffy because he believes in Luffy. And um, he will be the man to defeat Kaido with the right preparation. Because I think Bowser and S. Drake can take him out from the inside. And yes, I think Drake and Apu are in on it. Uh, so please, X. Drake, be in on it. Got to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> and I can see Bowser flushing his cards, playing with them and saying... There's a 65% chance this plan will succeed. Law will say, who will you bet on? 65% Luffy will win or 35% Kato will win. <laughs> so Law told Bowser that it has to be Luffy and crew that appear on the beach. So I'm thinking Bowser will wait until Zoro and Luffy defeats his subordinates and then tell them Law told me to retrieve you before Kato man found or knew of your presence on the island. Like something along those lines. Well, um, that's all for me, guys. Thanks for watching my video. We are on break next week. So, um, I will be making a theory and maybe a prediction video. Either or. Like, comment, subscribe, because I love hearing you guys' feedback. Um, this is your boy, Monkey D. Cypher, signing out.